Hello, let's get started creating mobile web apps. In other words, we'll use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and we're going to use the mobile boilerplate template as our starting point. And you can see it on its page. HTML5boilerplate.com is where you can find it, you can download it. Even better, you can use it directly inside NetBeans without doing anything. So let's create a new app. Um, sales Manager, for example. Click Next, and you can see that baked into NetBeans, without you having to do anything, is that boilerplate template. And it gives us a basic structure containing everything that you need when you're creating a basic web app for a mobile device. So you've got your 404, um, your HT Access, you've got your Apple Touch icons, you've got your Fav icon, a place for images, um, a place for documentation, some basic CSS and a place for your JavaScript, so an empty JavaScript file. So a basic structure that's going to be very useful as you build out your application. Now, let's run this application and see what it looks like in the browser. So here's the browser, it's the Chrome browser. It started up and I have the NetBeans plugin installed, which is freely available in the Chrome Web Store, which means that I can change the resolution easily and also click on items in the browser and see where they are defined back in NetBeans. So you click on the item in the browser, you see, for, in this case, the P tag highlighted in the bottom, and you can jump from there to the source. Now I press Control shift enter and I have a very nice text editor view without all the noise around it. And now we can make a change. For example, we change this to Hooray, Control s to save it inside of NetBeans, and you can see in the browser the change has been made. So now I press Control shift enter to get back into NetBeans. I can also click on this item in the browser and I can see the styles that are applied. So right now there isn't much of styling been, being done here. So now I'm going to add, for example, color. So we start and we type color. And we can see the color is one of the items. And here we can select a color. And it's blue. And you can see immediately that the browser is updated with this blue color. We add another property, um, let's say font size. So here's font size. And here you can see the values, for example, larger, and immediately the browser is updated again. So we'll make it um, even larger than that. Um, so there we go. Um, right now we can right click on these items in this CSS styles window and jump to the source. So we go to the source, and here is the font size to large, so to XX large, and here's the color. So we can change the color directly inside of the CSS editor to something different. So, for example, brown. Press enter and immediately the browser is updated. I haven't saved anything here. I'm just tweaking and, okay, it's yellow. I don't like yellow so much. I'll change it to blue. Okay, blue is the, maybe the way I like it. So I'm not saving. I'm just tweaking very easily and quickly directly inside NetBeans. Okay, so let's make it maybe sea green. Press enter and you can see the update um, in the browser. So you can see that um, interacting with the browser and the, the editor is very easy to do with all these GUI tools that you have. So now we imagine that our application is complete and we need to build it and distribute it. Now we can do this in various ways, but Grunt is a very nice um, solution for this. I have in my blog a package JSON file content, which includes two dependencies on grunt copy and grunt clean. So we're going to add these now to our project. So I'll create a new JSON file, I'll call it package. And here we have a package JSON file now automatically added to the important files node so you can easily see it. And I paste in here that content that I copied from my blog. What's interesting is that NetBeans has now picked up that there is a package JSON file there. And so this new menu item is available, npm install. So now the install is done of those two dependencies, which we can see in the files window. So the files window shows us generated code. And so here we can see that what's been generated is a, a grunt clean and a grunt copy. Now what we can do also is create a grunt file. So here we create a grunt file. So this is our build file like, um, like Maven or, or Ant. Um, but in this case, for the JavaScript world, it's grunt. And there's also gulp, of course. And there's also gulp support available for NetBeans. But here I'm using grunt. And I'm going to copy, again, from my blog, some basic starting content here, which does um, the copy and the clean 
and the build. So you can see here the public HTML folder, which is this one, is going to be moved to a build folder when this particular target here is run. And when the clean is done, the build folder will be removed. And then there is another task that combines the two clean and copy into a build task. Handily, we can map our project commands in NetBeans. We can map our project commands in NetBeans to these tasks. So when I do a build project, I want the build to be run. When I do a clean project, I want the clean to be done. And clean and build should do clean and build together. So I'll say OK. And we do a build. And we can see now that there's a build folder added with our content. When I right click and I do a clean, you can see that a clean is done. In other words, the build folder is removed. So now we have a basic structure for working with boilerplate. In other words, when you're creating mobile web apps, you need to use JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. You want a nice basic structure, which you have via the boilerplate template, which is baked into NetBeans. You also have browser integration via Chrome and the Chrome NetBeans plugin, as you've seen. And finally, as you've seen, you can also integrate um, NPM, in other words, Node, and also Grunt very easily uh, into NetBeans. And we can right-click on the project and choose Build, Clean, and Copy, which are the three um, tasks that you have here. Um, so Copy, Clean, and Build. And you can run them directly from here. Um, or you can right-click and choose Build, Clean, and Build, and Clean. So everything is very neatly integrated into NetBeans. And um, you have a very nice, intuitive, simple, and powerful environment for making very powerful mobile web apps. Thank you, and have fun with all of these tools.